I got hurt, then I lost my job. It wasn't because I was hurt, but it obviously doesn't help me because I'm broke now. How much would it cost to hire a lawyer to help me with my injury insurance? Your advice. Well, Brian, you know, it doesn't cost anything to talk to us or probably every personal attorney, uh, personal injury attorney in the state. And, and the reason it's set up that way is because uh, you're not in a position when you're hurt to have the means to pay a lawyer. I mean, you probably can't work when you're injured on the job or, or when you're hurt by a product. And so what it does is it gives people who are at probably one of the lowest points of their lives the opportunity to get legal representation to fight against a trucking company or an insurance company, or like Harry does a lot of slip and falls and trip and falls. Um, so that's what is called a contingency fee contract. And it's contingent on us winning your case. And if we don't, then you don't owe us any money. Harry, you want to uh, talk about why that's important? Yeah. You know, so on a contingency fee, it's really good for the, uh, for the client because um, the client has the opportunity to get the case worked. Um, there's no guarantees that, we're going to win every case. Obviously, we don't take cases that we don't think we're going to win. But um, yeah, so if, if we're not successful, they're not out of pocket anything. Um, and, uh, you know, clients that don't have the resources to fight against big insurance companies, they would have no other means to, to proceed with their case. Uh, insurance companies uh, pay lawyers by the hour. We only get paid if we win. And so I think that's a good benefit overall for the client. And, and it also, when we're putting the money for expenses out of pocket, it makes us be careful about what we take. I mean, there are cases that we turn down sometimes. Um, it's not because we want to. It's not because we didn't like the client. It's because we have to look at each case on its own, uh, on its own merits. And if it's a case that we think we can win, then we're going to go, we'll put 110%. We'll put as much money as it takes to resolve that matter. But if it's a case where you know, maybe the client's at fault or maybe, uh, you know, it's not the type of case that we take, then we sometimes have to turn them down. Okay. And speaking of turning down, do you uh, refer people? Because I mean, I know a lot of people are watching you and week after week when I'm out and about, uh, you're, you're trusted, you're trusted. And um, so when people call, would, are you willing to refer them to other um, attorneys? Does that yeah. happen a lot? You do yeah. My, lot? my dad, my dad told me, if you have a chance to help somebody, always try to take the chance to help that person. And so whether they end up at Morgan & Morgan where we work or at Tim Porter's firm at Porter & Maloof, uh, yes, I will try to put them in the right hands. I mean, sometimes they call me with a criminal question or sometimes they call me with a bankruptcy question, things that we don't do here. But, yeah, I'll be glad to steer them in the right direction and, and give them to somebody that I think is a good lawyer. The mention of your dad always makes me smile. Me too. Good guy. Good guy. It was he great. Is. He had the right attitude. That's for sure. Yes. Uh, did you want to add anything to that, Harry, quickly? We all, we all kind of have our own short list of people that we trust that we can refer uh, clients to. Uh, we know they'll do a good job. And as Rocky said, no matter what area, whether it's criminal law, some people have um, need, need bankruptcies. Um, some people need a divorce lawyer. And obviously we don't handle those issues, but we can get them usually uh, to where they need to be. All right. That's right.